Roswell incident is referred to by ufologists as the ultimate cold case file. Ranchers near Roswell, New Mexico, recall hearing what sounded like an explosion on July 2, 1947, during a severe lightning storm. W.W. Mac Brazel found debris that was unlike anything he had ever seen in a field near his home the following day. The Roswell Army Airfield announced in a press release that they had captured a flying saucer after handing over the debris to the U.S. Air Force. The claims were quickly retracted 24 hours later after word spread worldwide. The revised statement from the Air Force informed citizens that the debris was the remains of a weather observation balloon that had gone down, not a UFO. There are a lot of theories about what was discovered in New Mexico nearly 80 years after the Roswell incident. Since 1989, ufologists Don Schmidt and Kevin Randall have been investigating Roswell as the one case that could solve the entire UFO mystery overnight. In Netflix's Unsolved Mysteries, Volume 5, Episode 4, their findings regarding an alleged government cover-up are documented. I believe that an alien spacecraft was recovered by the military. In the episode, Randall stated, it's where the evidence is leading us. The Air Force claims that there is no proof that it was an extraterrestrial spacecraft. There was no paper trail to the files, which I believe were gathered and stored in a different repository deep within the government archives. Here is everything you need to know about the mysterious Roswell incident. What exactly happened in Roswell? W. w. Mac Brazel's Roswell UFO incident is one of the unsolved mysteries. According to Schmidt and Randall's research, Rancher W.W. Mac Brazel discovered metal-like debris in a field near his home the following day. The crash occurred on July 2, 1947, 75 miles outside of Roswell, New Mexico. Brazel drove to Roswell, where the 509th Composite Group was stationed, and loaded up as much wreckage as he could into his truck. During World War II, this was the same unit of the United States Air Force that dropped atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The intelligence chief, Major Jesse Marcel, received the materials from Brazel. On July 8, 1947, the Roswell Army Airfield announced in a press release that they had seized a spaceship. Marcel received an immediate directive to board a B-29 bomber and transport the wreckage to Brigadier General Roger Ramey in Fort Worth, Texas. Marcel dropped off the materials in Ramey's office when he arrived, and the two of them went to the map room. A group of rotting neoprene rubber balloons and a shattered radar reflector kite had replaced the wreckage when they returned. Ramy held a press conference and claimed that the wreckage was the remains of a weather observation balloon crash after allegedly instructing Marcel not to tell reporters or his family anything about what had happened. Marcel didn't say anything for 30 years. In 1980, when he was terminally ill, he said what he believed to be true on the television series In Search Of. I knew I had never seen anything like it before, but I have no idea what it was at this point. It had nothing to do with Earth. That I am fairly certain of. He stated prior to describing the materials. It was impossible to even bend. Couldn't be dented. It would deflect even a sledgehammer. The military sent troops to the desert following Ramy's press conference to retrieve evidence from the wreckage site. During this time, archaeologists from Western Texas Tech discovered a pod, a craft the size of a Volkswagen Beetle and shaped like an egg, 27 miles away from the debris field. They are said to have found non-human bodies. The alleged bodies were transported from Roswell to Dayton, Ohio, by Captain Oliver Pappy Henderson of the 1st Air Transport Unit. My husband informed me that the bodies were small, the heads were larger, and the eyes were somewhat slanted and sunken. According to Unsolved Mysteries, Henderson's wife Sappho once stated in an interview that they were not of this earth. I put my faith in my honest husband when he told me this story. Since 1947, the United States government has attempted to provide an explanation for what transpired in Roswell in a number of reports. The first, the Roswell Report, is a 231-page report. Richard Weaver, a special agent with the Air Force Office of Special Investigations, co-wrote the book Fact vs. Fiction in the New Mexico Desert, which was published in 1994 and was codesh written on Netflix's Unsolved Mysteries, Weaver stated, I really wanted there to be something there, but there was almost nothing in any Air Force records about Roswell and then we found out about Project Mogul. Naval acoustical sensors, radar reflecting targets, and nylon fibers carried by a train of weather balloons were the primary components of the top-secret Air Force project known as Project Mogul. Its goal was to detect Soviet nuclear explosions and ballistic missile launches. Weaver came to the conclusion that a Project Mogul balloon crashed in Roswell on the basis of this. The Roswell Report, 
written by Captain James McAndrew and published by the Air Force in 1997, addressed the alleged bodies discovered in New Mexico. The bodies were, according to the report, test dummies that were carried by research balloons at high altitude. What have authoritative researchers to say regarding the Roswell incident? Donald Schmidt and Kevin Randall, from left to right, in Unsolved Mysteries. Unsolved Mysteries features Donald Schmidt and Kevin Randall from Volume 5. Courtesy of Netflix, Schmidt and Randall presented their counterarguments to the government's two reports in Episode 4 of Unsolved Mysteries. They believe the Air Force is concealing something, despite the fact that they do not have any tangible proof that what was discovered in Roswell was extraterrestrial. Schmidt and Randall investigated Project Mogul in relation to the report on the incident at Roswell. They discovered that the materials used in the project were not classified. The Mogul equipment was off-the-shelf weather balloons, off-the-shelf radar targets. Randall, a retired lieutenant colonel who was a helicopter pilot in Vietnam and an intelligence officer in a battalion in Iraq, stated in the series. Jesse Marcel Sr. had no excuse not to be able to recognize it. Additionally, the crash in Roswell was linked to Project Mogul Flight No. 1, according to the report. 4. The ufologists discovered, however, that Flight No. 4, which was supposed to take place on June 4, 1947, was postponed because of the weather. Randall stated, Well, if the flight was cancelled, well, it couldn't have left the debris. Everyone agrees that something fell, but who knows what it was. Schmidt and Randall thought that the Air Force's attempt to explain the bodies in the Roswell report was laughable. Schmidt, a former co-director of the J. Allen Hynek Center for UFO Studies in Chicago, stated, they're talking about crash test dummies which didn't even come into existence until 1952, five years later. Therefore, none of our witnesses to the bodies in 1947 could have witnessed the dummies used in the crash test. People had a conversation with Luis Elizondo in September 2024. Elizondo is the author of the book Imminent, The Secret History of UFOs and a former senior intelligence official for a top-secret Pentagon program. The Pentagon's search for UFOs inside he was able to talk openly about the fact that the United States government had biological samples from non-humans. When I say bodies, I want to be careful because body implies that you have an intact, complete cadaver or corpse. Before describing the non-human tech he once held in his hands, he stated, What I can say is that biological samples have been recovered. It had a beveled metallic surface and multiple layers of material inside. It had numerous intriguing electrical properties. It wasn't right. It was unquestionably designed. When we showed it to scientists at one of the world's leading aerospace companies, they looked at us dumbfounded and said it can't be made. Yet it was there. What other possible explanations exist for the Roswell incident? See in Unsolved Mysteries, Donald Schmidt, 5. Volume A group of investigators looking into Roswell, New Mexico courtesy of Netflix The Roswell incident has sparked a number of conspiracy theories. Blaze says that some people think the alleged UFO was made by the Nazis. The Bell, a machine propelled by electric particles, is said to have fallen from the sky during a test flight, according to the theory that I in the meantime, the authors of the Roswell incident, which was published in 1980, Charles Berlitz and William Moore, believe that lightning struck a spaceship while it was flying over New Mexico and caused it to crash. Area 5-1 was written by investigative journalist Annie Jacobson in recent years. According to the Seattle Times, the 2011 book and uncensored. History of America's top secret military base suggested that Russia's Joseph Stalin sent a spacecraft with grotesque, child-sized aviators to fly over the United States and cause panic.